The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you everybody to join this webinar. So uh, today we have a delegate from the ESEC College uh, from the France and we are going to cover everything like what kind of programs they offer and what are the eligibility for the international students. We will also talk about the fee structures and what other admission dates are available there. So if any any questions during this webinar, if you have any questions, feel free uh, feel free to write it down and in the chat box which you can see in your right hand side, so that we can cover uh, your all your questions in the end of the webinar. So I just hand over uh, this one to start with Michelle so that we can talk about the programs. Hello, um, I'm happy to talk to you. I'm happy and grateful to uh, Study Metro colleagues from. Uh, the beautiful city of Bangalore uh, to, to give me a few minutes to do a presentation on uh, INSAC uh, group. Uh, first, uh, you can have an overall view of the School of Business, which is part of, of a science park, of a technological park. I will go into details regarding that campus in a, in a few minutes. So this is my name. Um, my name is Michel Guimard, Director of International Development uh, Department. Uh, I mainly work for INSEC Chambéry campus, the campus which is located in the main, uh, in the sorry, in the French Alps. But I also uh, can help you um, uh, promoting um, and being recruited from other campuses, from other uh, INSEC campuses. One word about my um, colleague, uh, I hired a colleague from India, and I guess it's important for me to mention that fact. So uh, our admission officer in the office, working from the French Alps Insect office, um, uh, is Anup Kumar. And Anup um, is here not only to help with the admission, to help the education agent, the potential students, but also the current students regarding any integration uh, issues. So we currently have in this campus only, uh, we have reached uh, a good number of students, 28 Indian students registered uh, last October, so we're quite uh, pleased with that uh, figure and we want to improve it, but it's also partly due to the fact that first we travel to India once or twice a year and due to the fact that my colleague is from India and he, he can guarantee quality assurance and he can, uh, um, uh, how would I say that, uh, convince and, and secure all the queries coming from the Indian potential uh, students. Uh, an overall view on insect campuses. So all together, uh, insect group is um, based and located in seven beautiful cities. Uh, it was initially set up in the city of Bordeaux. Bordeaux is the wine city, you probably heard of the very famous red wine, if not you will hear about it. Uh, you can, uh, very often we would uh, register for a Bordeaux wine, which is uh, one of the best quality uh, uh, wines you, you can expect in France. So that's one area. Uh, which city and the school was set up there in 1975. So it's not a brand new school, it's a school uh, with history already. Yeah. Uh, and after that, the head office moved from Bordeaux to Paris. Uh, the current head office is in Paris, and that's where we have the main and biggest uh, campuses. We have several campuses in the capital city. Uh, then there's a brand new campus in Lyon, the second biggest city in France. Chambéry was uh, set up um, was yeah uh, set up two years ago as an insect um, uh, school and out of France we have Monaco in the in the French, very close to the French Riviera very close to Nice you certainly heard uh, about Nice very recently uh, with the uh, the start events and uh, London in London we have uh, one considerable campus also in Chicago and to end up the story. 
regarding our worldwide presence. We also set up one campus in Switzerland, in Geneva, Switzerland, last time in 2014, late 2014, and also in California, U.S. and San Francisco, late 2015, like not, not even a year ago. Um, what I would, I would like you to understand about the accreditation is that we have reached the highest level of accreditation you can expect from the French Ministry of Higher Education and, and, and Research. We cannot go any higher, we can go down if we misbehave like bad kids who would have made mistakes, but uh, we have reached that uh, really um, uh, reputed and well-known accreditation, so French students are very attracted to it. They all want to study in what we call a grand école which has no translation and no meaning for you, but what I want you to understand basically is that if you come to our schools, you would reach the highest level of uh, quality assurance in teaching and infrastructure mainly. Um, in what, in two words, in what a chronicle uh, like ours is different from a university. Um, first point, general knowledge, even if you study and if you uh, take a major in, for example, supply chain, you will still need to study marketing, human resources, finance, um, and all subjects so that in your future professional life you can be able to interact with specialists in, in the other fields. Like uh, if you go to the uh, human resource director and you have uh, good knowledge about what he's doing and what his problems are about. Yeah. Action learning, uh, all our teachers need to have graduated from a PhD um, a diploma, but also, we also open the door to um, professionals, executives. Uh, I give another example in marketing. Very often the marketing professors would earn their own marketing company. So when they teach about business plan, they definitely know, definitely know what they're talking about. When they mention anything like budgeting, costing, they would have a lot of practical uh, information to give you. I am personally come from, from the university world. I thought I was a good student until my first job interview. Uh, I had never uh, had any professional experience. I had never been to a company before, so when I had the job interview, I didn't know whether I needed to put my glasses in, glasses in to be very serious, or whether I had to smile all the time, um, whether I had to shake hands, because in France you can shake hands, whether I had to be asked to sit down, or whether I should take the initiative to sit down. I can see my students via the uh, professional experience, even at bachelor's level, they end up with three professional experience and master's level with an extra two. They are mature, they change uh, from studies, so we combine uh, theory with practice. And I can see uh, the added value of um, uh, an internship in their, in their, uh, in this, uh, in the, in the syllabi and in their um, personal uh, skills. International dimension is something which is required by all the clinical French students. If you do not prove that you have studied at least a semester out of the country, or if you have not undertaken an internship out of the country, you will not graduate. So all the French students uh, need to have an international exposure. That's also with the professional uh, requirements and other requirements, international requirements, a study abroad period of one semester or the, an internship out of France. Student life is the final, uh, the final point. All the students need, French students need to be involved in at least one student association per year. Uh, what do you have in um, a student association? You have a president, you have a finance representative, you have the public relations representative, so you are prepared for your professional life because if you like set up an event, you will see why it was successful, why you had no money, why you made a lot of money out of it, why you didn't make any, any money out of it. So you're learning about promoting the school, but you're also learning about setting up your own uh, company. Uh, a few words about the uh, our campus in the French Alps. So of course we are one of the three highest level campus via the conical level I was just mentioning to you. 
uh, insect is targeting now the American AAC, AACSB label, which is a label which comes from the U.S. open to uh, schools of business and, and management. We need to target that uh, new accreditation to be even higher on on the national and international uh, ranking. That's our main target. It will take us between three and five years. It's a slow process. Um, if not, we are offering uh, undergraduate and graduate programs, and you can find English top programs from year one to year five. In our campus, we have 1,300 students. Among them, 110 students this year attended uh, our um, our school, um, which is not a bad figure, but we, we still need to improve it. Um, the success of our uh, campus is to first to um, be interesting for international students in the fact that we have opened, we started opening English top programs six years ago. If not, you know, French top programs, it would be hard. It's hard to find uh, international students who would be willing to study and get um, involved with our French students, too, which is why we opened our doors to the English top programs and we open our doors to the international and foreign students. Um, two words about the campus. So you can uh, see the round building as our school. Uh, this is a partial view, uh, view of the, the, the campus. You can see the round building. The round building is the school of uh, business where you would come and study. We are surrounded by the French Alps, the highest mountains in, uh, in Europe. And we are only 400 meters away to the highest, uh, sorry, biggest natural lake in, uh, in France, which make it uh, very, uh, very attractive. This is a science park campus, which means that not, not only do you find students, altogether 5,000 students, uh, because you have a university, which is also located in the camp, two, another two uh, higher education institutions. But 100 companies, started companies, we are very involved in that campus towards um, entrepreneurship. So a lot of young graduates can be allocated premises to set up their new professional uh, lives and the new uh, and the new professional projects. Uh, and we have the number one solar energy institute in uh, in France, uh, which is actually 50 meters away from our school. Uh, whose main um, task is to improve the solar energy process uh, worldwide. We have more than 100 researchers working on a daily basis in that respect. Um, it's like an American uh, campus. You have a post office, you have seven restaurants, including two university, very cheap two university uh, restaurants, and you have uh, sports facilities, etc. Uh, a few words now about the location and the history. Um, the, the, the rich, this part of France is called Savoie, uh, as it is written uh, in, the, in the picture. Um, we are by far the highest uh, region in, in France. Uh, we are, as you can see the map, I don't see, yeah, you can, you can follow the map here. Uh, we are located on the southeast part of France. Uh, Chambre is the capital of the French Alps. Uh, we are two hours fifty to Paris uh, by high-speed train, uh, knowing that in terms of distance we are still six hundred fifty kilometers away. But we have direct high-speed uh, trains um, from Chambéry to uh, to Paris. We are an hour drive only to Lyon, the second biggest city in uh, in France. An hour drive only to Geneva, Switzerland, the European capital of finance. An hour twenty to the highest peak in Europe. Mont Blanc, which is 4,810 meters, and very close to Italy as well. Um, you would be studying in the second economic region in France. I want, I want you to remember that uh, when you are asked questions, when you go to the embassy for the visa procedures, when you also have the telephone interview with us, this is something you should mention. That uh, it's still a booming part of France. That's the second economic region in the in the country. So uh, very close to Grenoble as well. So we are, you know, we're not isolated uh, at all. Um, 
this is a yeah some pictures uh, you can see uh, wooden uh, wooden buildings typical uh, wooden buildings covered with snow um, you would not suffer from the snow in the city because Chambéry is only 260 meters above sea level uh, but you will see the snow in the mountains uh, all winter long. The winter starts on the officially on the 21st of December, and the snow can turn up any time from late November to early December. But it hardly snows in the city. You will not suffer from the snow. Uh, a lot to offer in terms of uh, spas and five-star hotels. Uh, we do produce wine, and we do produce cheese is very famous all over the, the world is sour cheese and what's make us very different is that the ski resort industry they say we have the best ski resorts in the world we have organized three Olymp winter Olympic games in history in Mexico's credible we are overwhelmed with tourists uh, all winter long who, who come skiing um, to uh, enjoy our wonderful uh, skiing area uh, on top of that, the summer industry is now booming uh, as we have facilities for tourists in the winter. It is a, a good, uh, we are looking good ways of using the same facilities in the summertime. And we have a lot of lakes, lakes and uh, 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 tourists come hiking and we are one of the top five tourist destinations in France, knowing that France is the one tourist destination in the world. Um, the benefit of studying at INSEC, uh, standard of living, quality of life, cost of living, um, accommodation would cost you between uh, per month between 320 euro and 500, maximum 500 euro, 480. Um, if you go to Paris you need to multiply that by 2 if not 2.5. So you would save money um, coming with us in terms of uh, quality of life and you can spend that money to go to Paris and to visit and explore other countries or other beautiful cities in France. Uh, natural environment, one of the fact that we are one of the top five tourist destinations in, uh, in France. So we are used to um, hosting international tourists, that's why it, 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 it is uh, a good uh, way for us. I mean, we are credible in terms of teaching international business and teaching luxury hospitality, of course, due to all the premises and facilities I was telling you about. Uh, we do have students in our campus. Um, we would open a French bank account for you so that for free, we would also deal with all the health and security system, with all the civil liability, personal and home insurance so that you are covered. These are topics Indian students are not really fussy about, but we would make them work for you so that you have no problems of any sort if you get run over by a car, if you break your leg, skiing for example, it happens every year, uh, so that you're covered the same way as the French cities. It, it, it's something we are proud of um, offering the international students. We would find accommodation for you uh, when you apply for the French visa, they would ask you for an official address in France. We would facilitate that for you. And talking about the money, um, you would um, you can get from uh, the school regarding uh, grants and housing benefits. All of you, as long as you come and study with us, would be allowed to get a housing a monthly housing benefit from the seven second month of your studies of a minimum of 100, 100 euro per month uh, for the whole duration of your stay in France. So that's something I would like you to remember. No other country in the world is offering that. It's an added value. It's offered by our government with the help of our school because we have signed an agreement with the government and all international students, whatever your age, whatever your religion, whatever your nationality, uh, would be allowed to uh, have access to uh, to that facility and we would work on it from day two. We have orientation days and we would invite the local coordinator and we would help you with all the administrative issues because all the papers are written in French. It's a nightmare if you don't get any support from uh, from anybody. 
Um, let's go to the nitty gritty now. Uh, the uh, intake would start in October, so this year we would start early uh, on Monday, the third of October, with orientation day one. Uh, this is the package offer in English. You can see that we start from bachelor, from bachelor's, from bachelor's, bachelor's level, bachelor programs, uh, a three-year program, and we do find students interested in coming and studying with us right after, as soon as they have completed secondary education, they can they can come and study business management uh, and marketing with us for three years, which do include, as I was saying, an internship at the end of each academic year. Um, after that, we have a year three program and coming to the nitty gritty because you are an MSc and MBA student, um, we do offer master one and master two programs in international business, in luxury hospitality, but also in digital marketing and in brand management, food and wine, which are the, the two new uh, programs we are offering from, from this October intake. On top of that, that's not the point here, but we have a four-week summer school program um, whose topic is doing business uh, in English and uh, which allows students not only to come and study with us about this topic, interesting topic about doing business in English, but we also send them to the Mont Blanc. I speak in Europe to Torino, Italy, and to Geneva, Switzerland, so they can catch a glimpse of three different countries in only four weeks. Uh, the tuition fees, uh, in the introduction we said that it was impo important to mention the tuition fees. I know how, how important it is for you to, to get organized. Um, we are offering affordable, uh, of course, they're not free of charge, of course that does involve a lot of commitment and a lot of money, but if you can compare them with the uh, our French competitors first, and uh, the US, the UK, the Australian, the New Zealanders, uh, universities, you will notice that um, the costs are affordable. Yeah. Um, that's a uh, strategy and uh, uh, the willingness of our chief, chief executive uh, officer um, to make the studies affordable to most uh, students in the, in the world. Um, yeah. Um, also, I could say a few words about the fact that at master, from master's level onwards, uh, you would all have to undertake an internship, and the internships are paid internships in France. You can choose your country. So uh, the uh, master's level programs uh, and MBA programs uh, consist of six months of studies, followed by five months, three or five months internship, depending if you travel, uh, if your studies are at master one or master two level. But they would pay an internship and you would get 520 euro per month from the employer, from the company, by law. You cannot escape, cannot escape, not escape that, escape that. Uh, later. Um, eligibility process, we're not going to go into details, but you need to have completed sufficient academic years. And I would like to underline the fact that, uh, yeah, TOEFL, TOEIC, and ILS are compulsory except for students, for example, coming from example from India, knowing that uh, English is one of the official uh, languages in India, so you can escape this requirement. Of course, if you have taken those exams, it's much better uh, and much easier for um, us to accept you for the embassy or the consulates to, uh, to uh, make you eligible. But you can escape, escape that. But what you will not escape is the telephone interview and the double face-to-face -face interview by the embassy. Telephone interview with the school, followed by the face-to-face -face interview at either the embassy or the consulate of France. Um, so we will check out your level in English. And some sometimes in Indian students are struggling with English, and we refuse them. So, uh, but the. English external exam is not a uh, mandatory part of your um, uh, of the requirements for you due to uh, your nationality. Um, one of the final words about admission procedures, um, you have to send your application form to our local uh, coordinator, um, study meter um, Bangalore, 
and then we would check both the, uh, both the academic records and the uh, professional experience, if any, and then you will uh, you will be offered if everything is fine a telephone interview with one of our uh, team members. Uh, after that, if you're accepted, you will receive an nothing original and conditional offer letter. As soon as you settle fifty percent of the tuition fees, you send us the uh, proof of payment, and we will provide you with an official uh, by express mail an official letter of admission plus. Um, an accommodation address, yeah, that's how it works. Um, and after you can start with the telephone interview in, in one of the uh, consulates of uh, France. Finally, they will check out the legal aspects and the financial aspects. And that's basically what I wanted to say. A few words maybe about temporary jobs. Uh, that's, yeah, uh, two, two, maybe two comments. First, the first one, attendance is compulsory, mandatory, obligatory. You cannot skip classes in our school. It's not possible. Indian students are very good at pretending that they were sick and they went to the doctor. If you go to France, they will give you a certificate. So if you have no proof of it, don't play with us. Just say, of course you can be, you can be feeling well, but you have to email us. Uh, email us and mention the fact that you, you're not feeling well. You. We are very fussy and our co-students are very fussy with attendance. And if you skip the lessons after one month, I'm the one who will have to denounce you to the immigration office and you will no longer be considered, uh, considered as our students. We're not, you have to be very serious with class attendance. If you skip the classes, you will fail your exams. That's as simple as that. Um, another good, uh, another point is the uh, temporary job. The fact that yes, you can you can find a job. You can work part time uh, in France. Um, at the bottom of your uh, visa document, you would receive it. Uh, you would you would see uh, a statement saying that you're uh, eligible to work part time, which involves uh, um, being allowed to work a maximum of 80 hours per month. And you would get ten. You would be paid ten euro per hour if you find uh, a job. Don't expect a glamorous job. Uh, the students do find jobs in a, in a, in a restaurant. They do find jobs in a supermarket. They do find jobs in a, um, in any sorts of uh, uh, that kind of facilities. Don't be too uh, demanding uh, and be hardworking. I used to work in a kitchen myself. Uh, uh, in Wales, when I was a student, I was mopping the floor. Uh, the floor. I was doing the uh, washing up the plates, and I, I learned a lot from that experience. Um, you have to be fussy regarding the internship. Internship is something very different. It's part of your syllabus. You have to find the right company. You have to be demanding. But the temporary job, if you want to find something, don't be too complicated and go for it. Yeah. Um, and finally, uh, the stay back option, as you call it in India, which we would call uh, ourselves the one year extension visa. Uh, maybe allowing two year extension visa, but that's under way. That's been uh, mentioned between our two uh, countries, but uh, nothing has been uh, signed up regarding the two year extension visa. But the one year extension visa, yes, is possible. You have to apply to the immigration office before graduation. Uh, one year, one month before graduation, you have to show your interest in considering working in France. You would fill in an application for it, and after uh, after that, they would ask you to come back with the graduation uh, diploma a month later, and you would be allowed to uh, to look for a job and stay one year in France with the intention of, with the objective of looking for um, a, a job. Uh, be uh, also prepared that it's not that easy to find a job. And if you don't find a job within five months, you will still have to pay for your lodging. You will still have to cover the food and the expenses. So that's something you uh, you need to, you need to, um, to 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 fight with. The best way to find a job, if I take the example of all the alumni we have who are still in France, uh, the the best chances are via the internship. Yeah. The internships are the best way to, for you to be noticed by the employer 
uh, if they consider you hardworking, you're flexible, you're nice, you're sociable, um, they may consider the fact that, yeah, I may hire a position, I may need that guy or that lady because, yeah, they speak language we don't. They give an international exposure to our company, they know the Indian, Asian market, and they can find an added value in hiring you. Um, the best way, yeah, to find a job is to get a contract right after the internship. It's much easier. And the fact that you would get the one year extension visa would facilitate the procedures by far. Yeah? Uh, I guess that's all I wanted to say. Well, of course, we do organize like most schools, welcome parties, uh, trips, company visits. Um, this is the, a picture of the Mont Blanc I visited to the ISP in Europe. Um, that's something, yeah, we, we are very. Uh, um, we're paying attention to uh, the integration of the students. I want to make sure that they feel, they feel fine. As I told you, we have an Indian representative, we also have a Chinese representative in my office, so that all culture barriers are, um, and do not represent a problem, but are an asset, both for you, for your integration, and for ourselves. So that's basically what I wanted to say, and I'm, I'm ready to answer any any questions there? Thank you for your attention. Thanks, thanks, Richard. So, any students, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to write down in the chat box so that we can uh, ask directly to the Michelle. So, in the meantime, if you guys have any questions, uh, please show it. Regarding the engineering, Regarding the engineering, so we, you have two options. Either you want to uh, develop your management skills, and in such a case you would need to uh, select the international business management um, program. Uh, option number two, you want to carry on with something more, I mean, closer to your previous studies, and you would need to uh, apply for, in such a case, I would advise you to apply for uh, commercial engineering and project management. So you have to think about those two options and make your mind up very quickly. Yeah? Is it very important about French language management? That's something I should have uh, mentioned. Uh, we are offering French language uh, at either full beginners level at either full beginners level or even if you have an intermediate level. If you see the, I will, I will give you the, uh, the course details, the course units, but you see that you have languages, languages are, uh, it's French languages, you cannot escape French language. Uh, it's included in the package, so it doesn't involve extra cost. It's included in the tuition fees. Um, and you will check uh, an exams from day one, orientation day one, 3rd of October, 11.30. Uh, this year, you will have to take an exam. Um, and we will, uh, we will set up three groups, uh, uh, full beginners, both beginners, intermediate level. And you will have to, uh, to take final exams also. Not only are you offered, will you be offered French, but you will have to take a final exam in French. Your question is about, do I need to have French requirements? No, not necessarily. Uh, I was at the embassy, uh, at, at French embassy in Delhi on Tuesday. They double confirmed that uh, French was not a requirement. But uh, yeah, if you have studied any French in your previous studies, you have to mention it. It would be better to show your interest for the, the language and for the culture as well. Uh, regarding the culture, if I were you, I would take like uh, uh, some interests I have, uh, personal interests like sports, like business, and I can I would mention them in the interview. Like, uh, yeah, that would give you an added value. But French is not required. There, it would be appreciated if you could tell them that you uh, you have interest for the French language. Uh, with, regarding the interview at the French Embassy, what do they want to hear? And what do we want to hear um, ourselves uh, during the telephone interview or Skype meeting? Uh, we want to hear that you know the program. We want to hear that you have chosen to study in France. Why France? And the, the Embassy people want to, why France and not New Zealand? You have to be clear on that. Not because you're 
local uh, coordinator uh, to mention France as a new destination. Uh, you have to know that business studies are uh, very properly, I mean, very carefully uh, and uh, taught in France. So if you look at the top 20 business schools in the world, you can find, you can find six uh, schools in France. So it means that we know how to teach um, and to guarantee quality assurance in terms of business and management study. So that's why I would, if I were you, I would emphasize on the quality assurance of being offered a very good level uh, um, uh, study option. Yeah, interesting. And then it has to be with your personal interest. Maybe the fact that Europe does represent a lot of uh, uh, new uh, exposure. Uh, the fact that you will learn the language, that you can use it on the way back. Also, they're not really interested in hearing about the stay back option, even if that's one of your, your main objectives. But you sh you'd better tell them on the way back, I will be able to hire a position that I'm currently unable to, uh, to obtain. Yeah, that's what they want to hear. And you give three examples of positions like management skills, or yeah, you have to, to, to be clear on the sort of position you would be able to get on the way back. And again, my advice is that you give three names of Indian companies that you, you would target, even if you if you your intention is to stay in Europe, but you will see what happens with life. You never know. Maybe uh, we have good Indian students. I can take an example of one of our Indian students who wanted to stay, was dying to stay in France. And he's now working at the French Embassy in Delhi. I, I, I had dinner with him on Sunday night, and I, he hosted me at the French Embassy on Tuesday. He's having a wonderful job. He, he had a good time in France. He was selected because his French language was up to scratch, and now he speaks French like nobody. He spoke, he spoke in French is very good. The fact that he came back with a French MBA changed his career. Uh, even uh, even if he didn't have the willingness to come back to India that quickly, he stayed with us. But then he had to uh, he had to uh, to come back at one point. So he decided to come back to and see his family, and he he now has a very good job. Um, but be, be very clear in that. Be very clear in that strategy. We want to know that you know the course you need, you know the program, you know the duration of the program, and you know the structure. Like as I told you, six months plus three months or six months of studies plus five months of internship. It has to be clear. Don't tell me. Don't tell us like, oh, I guess it's a two-year program. If it's a thirteen-month program, don't tell us. Oh no, it's maybe fifteen, thirteen. Um, and if you want to study international business management, give us the core details. You will be given the brochure. We are offering like 20 course units. You have to know them. Don't tell me international business, sir. Oh no, international management, sir. Or management. That's not enough. And you think that. So in such a case, I would say, okay, I'm going to ring off. I'm going to call you back in three days' time. And you're going to tell me if you really, if you know about the course the course program or not, because this is what you're going to study. So you need, you need to be ready for, for the telephone interview. You know, course duration, course unit. It, it takes you 10 minutes of your time to remember, yeah? And a project. And why friends? Why that school? Why INSEC? You have to know about INSEC, um, added value, what sort of group it, it is. Uh, we are the number one now. We're we just become this week the number one private higher um, education institution in France um, in terms of student numbers. Maybe you should mention that. You, know, you have to get ready. It's not like going to the hairdresser. It involves more preparation. Yeah. Hairdresser, to go, turn up, get ready, and they do the work. They wash your hair, and then they, they cut your hair. You have to be ready for it. It will take if you if you spend two hours on the preparation. If you if you're very clear, um, you'll be okay. Don't be intimidated. They can uh, sometimes the uh, embassy people can uh, can be sometimes arrogant. We are French, you know. We can be arrogant, and you can say, "Well, why France? Why do you want to use Stanford City in France?" You try to see. You don't speak French. Nobody would speak. Uh, you know that nobody speaks English in France. They're trying to. 
get you around so that you're clear about your project. Yeah, yeah I will learn French when I'm there, I want. I want also to take the opportunity of learning a new language. I will see which level I reach uh, at the end of one year, but I, yeah, I'm, re I'm ready for any, to take the challenge. And all, no, it's not true in France. Uh, a lot of people speak English, and I'm going to go to a top five tourist destination that I used to hosting touring people and touring tourists. So I'm not, no, I'm not bothered. I'm not concerned. This, this is not a concern for me. You know, you have to get ready and answer back. The embassy people tell me there is no bad answers, but sometimes they're trying to see what your project is. They, they may intimidate you. Yeah. And if not, you're fine. Don't talk too much. Answer their questions. Yeah. Okay. And you'll be good. And you'll be good. Okay, we have a question uh, in our mm -hmm. webinar. The question asked by the Satrashi Guha. That which program is far better than getting a job? Uh, uh, MBA <laughs> or MSc? Um, the two, uh, that's a very good question. Thank you for asking it. Um, in terms of European, um, European framework, uh, the two programs lead to a five-year uh, university level recognition. So it's exactly in terms of uh, number of um, year having been completed. This is in both cases the equivalent of five years of higher education, uh, higher education having been completed. So uh, it doesn't make any difference. I know that in India the MBA sounds much more glamorous. Uh, in Europe, whether you reach MSc or MBA doesn't make any difference because that's the same level of recognition. Also, MBA does require two to three years of work experience. So if you don't have any work experience, so if you have longer than two years, you can only apply for an MSc. But we don't see, we don't, it's the same program with a different graduation diploma at all. We don't see any, any difference ourselves. But it's true that the MBA, by definition, like in the US, is open to executive who can uh, uh, confirm that they have been working at least two to three years. Okay. Yeah. So you mean to say that if the student does not have two years at least experience, they cannot apply for like admission for the MBA? They have to apply uh, for an MBA. They need to apply if only if they have uh, if they can demonstrate two to three years of my of, uh, professional experience. Okay. And the other option is that they apply with the MSc, and it would follow the same program. So we don't we don't really see the difference. But I, again, I've been in India for one week now, and I can see um, that MBA does mean a lot in your country. It yeah. makes a difference. It's the same program with the same teachers and the same recognition level. Okay. Okay. The second question asks uh, Santosh that. Uh, please explain us the uh, option about the stay back after completing my graduation. Oh. Yeah, the stay back option is something brand new that was set up by the current president, Hans Bordon. Uh, it's a who facilitated um, the stay back option uh, after graduation at master's level only. I'm not talking about uh, degrees. Um, or bachelor's, I mean degrees of bachelor's, I should say, level. I'm talking about master's level. As I said, you have to go to the immigration office to, to demonstrate your interest in considering finding a job. They will ask you to fill in a paper. And after you, uh, as soon as you graduate, you prove that you have graduated from a master's level, and you would be allowed uh, to to uh, stay in France for one year to find a job. That's as, as simple as that. Um, as we are offering internships, the best way to find a job is to be a very hardworking and good student during the internship so that you can be offered a six-month contract. After that, I can go into details here, yeah, you are very often offered a six-month contract which is renewable twice. It could be, if not, a 12 month con a twelve months contract, you renewable twice, and then they have to offer you uh, uh, what we call a permanent contract. But it's up to the employer. So that's why I can give you an overall view, but I'm not 
everybody's father or everybody's employer. The employer will decide whether they're interested in hiring you for what duration and in what conditions. But it's true that the government facilitates that procedures to the companies now via the new one-year extension visa. Okay, so you mean to say uh, first the students finish the MSc or MBA, yeah. then they get a one-year post-study That's right. visa, and then if they get any offer from the employer, they, yeah. they can extend the visa until the employer wants. Exactly, it's the employer's decision to make it work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's as simple as that, yeah. Okay. If it's clear enough. Okay. So we have another question from yeah. the Richa Arya, and she mentioned, "Hello, sir. For the MSc in International Business, yeah, uh, do I have to study for the two years, as I have a three years of bachelor degree?" Yeah, that's a very good question as well. Um, um, MSc, an MSc level requires that you have studies. We have in Europe, I should start explaining it. In Europe, we have three, a tendency uh, to study bachelor's in three years and master's in two years. I'm going to be concrete. If you come from the engineering fields, how long is the duration of your bachelor program? Four oh, years, yes. right? Okay. If you're a BBA, bachelor of business studies, three years. If you're a business student, you have Therefore, duly completed three years of higher education, right? If you have no professional experience, it would take you two years to graduate from an MSc level at INSEC because we are following the three plus two rules and regulations. Uh, on the other hand, if you're an engineering student, I you can demonstrate, as you can demonstrate, and that's true, that you have completed not three years but four years, you can directly access the master two level, which means study and graduate from an MSc level in only one year, okay. if it's clear enough. Okay. So as I understood, if the students having three years of bachelor degree, they have to study for two years MSc. Except if they, if they can confirm that they have worked, uh, and then in such a case, they would not graduate from an MSc, but from an MBA. So in such a case, they would need, to, of course, to have studied a minimum of three years. And they have to uh, show certificates, of, working certificates of a minimum of two years. Then they can they can be offered the MBA. One year. Yeah, in one year. That's the second option. Okay. So, um, engineering. I mean, uh, bachelor's in business studies, three years. So you need to do two years. Engineering studies, four years. So you can do all in one year. And MBA is only open to students who have. Uh, worked at least at least two years. Okay. Okay. After so, a minimum of three years of service. Yeah. So I just completed. want to understand if the students having, uh, let's say, two years MSc degree, still yeah. they get one year post study work visa, so they get step to three years. Um, they have to study two years, and then they would be offered the one year extension visa, yeah, because they would three graduate years. at master's level. That's two years, and they can uh, they can apply for the one year extension visa if they want. Okay. Okay. So I have a, one question for yeah. the internship that you mentioned that mm -hmm. um, five twenty uh, dollar uh, euro per five hundred twenty per month in France, France. In France, in the France. minimum. That's minimum. The, uh, the students will get. Is this a guarantee that every student will get? Yeah, it, it's guaranteed by law again. Again, that's not, um, I will not tell you about François Hollande, the current president this time, but the previous president, Nicolas Sarkozy, who we suddenly heard about, was the one who set up that national rule. Why? Because a lot of companies were making advantage, taking advantage of, uh, I'm loud, mm -hmm. of trainees. Uh, they would take a training for five months. Uh, and they would replace him or her by another training for another five months, which means that they would not facilitate employment. They would they would make use of the training replaced by another training replaced by a third one. So he said to the company, "Okay, you have to emphasize and enhance employment this way. If you want to take trainings, I'm going to uh, oblige you to pay my the trainees." A minimum of and the minimum, uh, uh, as we call it in France, uh, gratification because it's not a salary, would be 520 uh, euros net per 
permits by regulations. The other thing I wanted to say about internship is that um, you can choose to study. You can study in the French Alps in Chambéry in our campus and decide to study in another city to work, sorry, to do the internship, to carry out the internship and to work in another city like Paris, like Lyon, like Strasbourg, whatever. You can also decide to work out of France. That's also we currently have Indian students in Belgium, uh, in Brussels, Belgium, in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, in the Canary Islands. Uh, last year we had students in Dubai, in Qatar, and in, in all parts uh, of the world. As long as your project is validated by the course leaders, and the course leaders find that the project, the assignment as such, uh, is good, you can, you can also come back to India. I personally don't see the interest in coming back to India with a French passport, but some students were able to target a company they were dreaming of working with that they can now approach with an MBA, being an MBA student or an MSc student. So that could be a strategy as well. But um, you have to be careful regarding the rules and regulations of that country. Uh, you would come with a Schengen visa, which means that in terms of traveling, you would be offered to travel. You would be, you would be allowed to travel. I mean, uh, not only in France or uh, without showing any visa, but uh, in another 25 countries in Europe. Um, regarding the internship issue, we're talking about work permit issue. It's a bit different, so you have to be prepared. And my advice is that you know, in you will start the internship in April. You have to know in January which country you are targeting or which city in France you are targeting. A lot of Indian students are spending days and weeks changing their minds. Now they come to our office and they say, what about Switzerland? And what about London? And what about, <laughs> what about the Netherlands? And then they, they don't send any project to the company and they get stressed out two weeks before the uh, the beginning of the internship, they have nothing in view, nothing prepared, nothing underway. So you have to decide on a city or decide on a country and you make it work. Yeah. Okay. So the internships is uh, done by the students. Uh, the students have to arrange the jobs or the university also guide them? The yeah. Uh, the, the guidance comes from uh, uh, mainly um, electrical career development, which you find among the course units, the master one and semester two, uh, where you would be, uh, where you would learn uh, how to write a CV properly, how to write a carburetor properly, and how to guide you to access the, the, mess web, the main website, the main job and internship uh, website offers. On top of that, you would access INSEC, um, uh, job and internship opportunities. We do uh, enter more than 5,000 uh, offers per year. Uh, but it's, it's true that it's mainly your decision, your, your project. You have to decide which sort of company you want to work for, a big group, a small and medium-sized company, which city for, to do what project. If it's marketing, will that be digital marketing? If it's management, what sort of management? Uh, you have to be ready for it, and then you um, you start your CV. Um, of course, we would add to that. supporting is something we don't really encourage, but no students have ever been able to to find um, to find an internship. Sometimes they delay the starting date instead of starting early April. They start early May, which is still make it possible anyhow in the. In the, in the duration after the internship, you have uh, to write a dissertation on your project work and you have to come back to the school to do your defense. And then you graduate the following end of October. So it's a 12 to 13 month program. Do you have any questions here? Okay. So another question asked by uh, the teacher, she sees it in the Gujarat office, she's yeah. a counselor. So right now uh, she is having a student. Her, he, his name is Mr. Uh, Chinton, and he has completed his MSc in the mathematics. Can he go for the MSc in international business? Mathematics. MSc. Yeah, as long as it, yeah. We also have students from geology, 
Uh, sometimes we have students coming from another world, <laughs> another field of studies. Uh, as long as the motivation and the project is clear, we will consider the project and then we'll either make it work, consider it, and say, yes, yeah, the student is ready to, and knows why he wants to go from mathematics to management, for example. As long again as the project is clear, it's okay. If the project is not clear, it's not, it's not going to be doable. But if it is clear, if he has good reasons of changing in our life, we, it happens that we, we serve cycle as students who are studied psychology, want to do management, studied medicine, want to do something different. I mean, it happens to, all, to a lot of us. And, but we need to consider the project and the reasons for the change. As, as long as it's clear, it's highly possible. Yeah. Okay. We have another question by uh, Saptat Shikuma. Mm -hmm. What kind of experience do you need to get admission in the MBA? What do you mean by that? Can you be more precise? What kind of experience? So experience, yeah. is she is working in IT domain or banking domain or telephonic or might be any domain wherever he works. If she can produce two years of experience, you can accept them for the MBA program. Coming from that background? Yeah, so you she's just checking the, do you require any specific domain knowledge or the strengths? Regarding the work experience? Yes. Regarding yeah. the work experience? No, yeah. it's more the fact that you have worked in a middle management position which would matter more than the, uh, the type of company or the type of project. We will look into it. But we will also see if you've been working as a clerk, or if you've been working in a middle uh, management position, which is more what matters to us. Uh, another question asked by the same student, does students with the year back is acceptable in the funds? To do what? Year back, that means education yeah. gap, education gap, let's say. No, is, we have no problem with that. No. I mean, you have studied and you graduated in 2011 and you want to catch up with your studies. We have no problem of any, uh, of any sort okay. in uh, So in there are certain countries in the Europe, uh, they said that your maximum match you cannot reach more than 29 for the master program. We have no problem with that. Of okay. course, that's a question we would ask right away. Why, what did you do in your gap time? Okay. Yeah. And then they are producing the documents, what they have done. Before. Yeah, uh, normally they have worked, or if they have not worked, they, uh, suddenly they were busy. They were not staying uh, in bed for four years, you know, doing nothing. So they have to explain uh, why they want to catch up with the studies again. But there's no bad application in that respect. Okay. We have an student, and those he asked. Uh, uh, what kind of work experience required for luxury, hospitality, and the in work? Yeah. Event yeah. management. Yeah. Uh, normally, it's something uh, linked with event management or luxury hospitality. So it could be hospitality management. That's normally what the students would have uh, previously worked uh, in. Uh, but we also include event management. So it could be something involved with marketing events or. Uh, marketing management, uh, in, in that respect, it will also work. But this job preferably lead to the hospitality, uh, luxury hospitality uh, management. Yeah. Okay. So another question asked by Dicha earlier that uh, can uh, the students can take the transfer out, let's say from the from here fourth year to the either the bachelor or MBA program in the France. Can you be more precise again? Yeah. The question is like that, that if the students is still pursuing in India, yeah. let's say his degree is for four years, okay. but in after two years or after three years, if you want to take a transfer out to your school, is this possible? Uh, are you talking about double degree? No, I'm talking no. about the transfer credits. Uh, four years, like he would have or she would have studied four years? She didn't finish a four years bachelor degree. Yeah. She's still in third year, and yeah. she wanted to get a transfer out to your school uh, for the, uh, starting either MBA or the bachelor program. Ah, uh, start again at bachelor's level. Yes. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah, I mean, again, so it's a question. Start from the first year. She can start uh, directly. We will need to see the academic records. We will need to go to the nitty gritty and see what she has completed. And then we, we, we can make it work yeah, at bachelor's level. 
you can uh, regarding the three year bachelor in business marketing and management you can start from year one you can also start from year two um, to study two years yeah Okay, she's saying she wants to get a, a, a for the master program. So I think it's, ah, okay. not, it's yeah. not possible, right? Because she, until unless she finished four years degree plus uh, two years experience in MBA, otherwise so she, she could, could see. she could uh, apply for the master two level in that, in that case. Four years of studies, uh, four years of higher education, yeah. Yeah. plus two years of professional experience. She can directly access the uh, MBA or uh, MSc level. Okay. Master two, yeah. Also, final uh, year, one year only. And when she can apply directly after the, this, otherwise. After what? After the three years degree, it is possible if she can apply for the M1. Yeah, yeah, M1. Of course, of course she can apply. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. She will be eligible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this MSc program also need internships for, uh, while doing. While studying there? All MSc programs involve internship. Master 1 level, you need to undertake a three month internship, and the following year, I'll master two, five to six months. Okay, so we are running out of time. It's already one, three now. So the last question I will ask uh, that the internships is technical or non technical domain? What kind of internships will be while you study? Uh, it's up to uh, the student's project. I mean, you want to work, uh, if you come from engineering, you have to define what sort of internship you, you, you would like to do. You have to talk to the course leaders where to, to see whether they would, they would validate your proposal. And then you go ahead with your proposal and you find a, a, a company interested in that project. So we quite uh, flexible um, in as long as the project has been pre accepted by our course leaders. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, thank you everyone who has joined this webinar, uh, and uh, we would appreciate if you still haven't uh, get your answer because we are only running out of time. You can always email us at admissionstudy.mitro.com. Or you can call our advisor at 8088678867. So thank you very much again. Uh, it's a Saturday afternoon, so hopefully you already have a plan to go out with your family and friends. Uh, so uh, I hope you enjoyed our webinar session, and uh, we will keep you updated in the, our next webinar also. Thank you very much. Have a nice. Day.